You're still listening to Kumbang Channel and this is Kumbang News Macau. Macau's nucleic acid test NIT fee has been further decreased from 55 to 45 patakas. Since the city launched its NAT program in May 2020, the NAT fee has been decreased several times from the original price of 180 patakas. The ban on foreign citizens from 41 countries has been lifted recently and they can now enter Macau directly from anywhere in the world without having to apply entry permit beforehand. However, most countries from where the majority of Macau's non-resident workers come are not included on the list, including the Philippines, Indonesia, Nepal, Vietnam, Myanmar and India. The Macau government is reportedly studying the possibility to gradually open its borders to nationals from more countries, according to some local media reports. The Kotai Hengchin line of Macau's Light Rapid Transit LRT will open in September 2024, with nearly 50% of the project having been completed. The line, which includes a 900-meter underwater tunnel, will link the area of the now-defunct Lotus Flower Checkpoint building in Kotai with the Macau Zhuhai Joint Border Checkpoint in Hangchin, according to the Public Works Bureau. And as for the weather in town, it is expected to be sunny tomorrow and Tuesday before the weather gets rainy with some thunders on Wednesday and Thursday, while the rest of the week is expected to be mainly cloudy with a few more showers at the weekend. Local temperature throughout the coming week will range from 25 to 33 degrees Celsius. For more information about the local weather, visit www.smg.gov.mo. That's all for tonight's Kumbang News Macau. Getting back to our music tonight, this is Shannon All with the song starting all over again. Selat Kumbang Channel Kumbang Kumpul Barangyong.